Attention parents, please do not leave your child unattended while riding the ride. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> this is our life, this is our fun, this is who we are. This is our dream, this is our team, shot among the stars. Take this shield and we'll be fine. Take this hand and we'll just show. Let's live it. Live it forever. Good morning, guys. I am headed up to Nacho right now. I'm actually in the truck and I'm headed up there because I'm dealing with a little bit of an issue um, with him right now and I'm hoping it doesn't turn into a bigger issue. I'll give you guys more information once I get up there but yeah, I'm just a little worried, I'm a little bummed and I'm hoping it's nothing too big of a deal. So let's go check on him and see how he's doing. All right, here's my boy. He's out in the pasture. Oh hi, is he giving me some kisses? Oh my gosh. He looks so handsome. Actually, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I shaved his nose and I love it. He looks like a little man. Just freshly shaved, huh? Not even a little man. He kind of looks like an older man. Well, hi, Funs. How are you? This is his friend Funs, and they actually get along really well. They love to play. So basically, like I said, I'm kind of dealing with a little issue with him. But the other night, I actually was riding him, and he just felt a little bit off. It wasn't anything too visible, but I could tell something was a little off in his front leg. And so I kind of trotted him around while my trainer watched him, and she said that his front left foot was definitely a little, like, something was going on with it. Oh my goodness. Are you guys biting each other? Knock it off. So not nice. Oh my gosh. He's like licking him. Oh my gosh. That's cute. This leg, something seems to be a little off. Now there's no like gashes. He's not necessarily like hurt at this point. I did take him on a pretty long trail ride. So he could have been just, you know, a little sore. Could be that he chipped something. Could be that he has like a little abscess. Could be nothing that big of a deal. Could be something that's bigger deal than that. So we gave him a little butane and some Epsom salt and been letting him rest, but I'm gonna go ahead and lunge him right now for the first time. I've never lunged a horse at all and I've never lunged him. And I hear it's a really, really great thing to do for like bonding and stuff. So we're gonna see how he does. Um, and if he's good to go, then I'll give him a ride. If not, we'll see. Maybe I'll call the vet. Make sure you don't, nothing too bad. You wanna go? You're so pretty. All right, let's go, bud. Um, but I gotta say, guys, I'm pretty proud of myself for being able to notice that he had an injury because it was definitely not something that you would have known unless you rode him frequently and know his, like, how smooth he is and stuff. And you wouldn't have even really seen it unless you knew what you were looking for when I was trotting him and stuff. So I'm really proud of myself. I definitely feel like I'm learning a lot from him and it's been a really cool experience so far. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of the pasture. It's looking good. Doesn't look like it's gotten like worse or anything, so that's nice. Oh, go this way. I know, vlogging and walking a horse is a little difficult. <laughs> all right, I've got them all saddled up and we're gonna lunge you. Should be fun. Hopefully everything's all better, right? All right, Maria gave me a quick little lesson on lunging and I gotta say, he's pretty dang good at it. I would say he's more responsive to lunging than me riding him. But yeah, I think this will be great to do just cause he'll kind of learn my voice and like what I want and how he does. He actually does really good. I had like the little whip to kind of move him, but he didn't even need it. He does great. But I will say that after trotting him for a little bit, he definitely still has a sore leg. So I'm gonna soak it with some Epsom salt and do a whole little thing. I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it gets better. Basically he, I can't really ride him. I can maybe walk him a little bit, but I probably won't even do that. I'll do this for a minute just cause I've got him hooked up and saddled up. But really I can't ride him until whatever is wrong is fixed. She's thinking probably an absent, absent? An abscess in his hoof until that you know, emerges and is done. I really can't ride him. And that could take anywhere from, you know, a few days, few weeks to a few months. She had a horse that took two months, just depending on how deep it is in there. So, oh, I really hope it doesn't take months to help. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully we can get it out of there. We're gonna use everything we can to get it out of there, okay? Poor guy, he's definitely uncomfortable. So let's see if I can show you some lunging really quick. All right, we just went one way, and I gave you a little trot just to see um, if maybe any uh, horse people wanna tell me what they think. 
don't think he was doing he wasn't doing too bad I'm gonna switch him to the other side and um, I'll try him for just a minute and I'll let you guys kind of check it out because I know there's some horse people out there who might be interested to see what he has and honestly I'm interested in your opinions if you think it's anything too bad I don't think it's anything too major I really think it's just an abscess but I'm gonna try the other way really quick and you guys can take a look That is all I'm gonna do today. I was actually gonna walk him a little, but I give you guys a little more of a tr more trot and more canter. And as you can see, he's definitely throwing his head up, and that is him because he's a little uncomfortable. His foot definitely is hurting, and so I don't want to walk him anymore, and I don't want to trot him or canter him anymore. I'm just want to get you, give you guys an idea. I will say, first time lunging. I know I'm not a pro, but I actually feel like it was pretty dang good and pretty easy. Um, for my first time, so I'm excited. He's obviously really awesome at doing it So that helps a lot if I had a horse that didn't want to do it That'd be a little more difficult, but he's awesome. I honestly have learned so much from him. It's been so great But I'm gonna go ahead and de-saddle him or unsaddle him. Give him a little break And I'm gonna kind of fix up his leg put some stuff on it. Hey, say hi. Hey guys, my foot hurts My foot hurts now I uh, kind of gave you like a little bit of b-roll of us like wrapping it up she's actually showing it showing me how to do it and all the stuff I need to buy and it looks really awesome the way she does it I'm hoping it works I'm hoping it can kind of show itself sooner rather than later because basically it's like an abscess inside there it needs to come out and so we're putting stuff on it to hope that it kind of pulls it out and I'm just like so sad that he's got an owie um so yeah I gotta go buy everything and I just gotta say like I love this place that I'm at I am totally am a beginner but I have learned so much from these people and they're just like the sweetest nice most loving like uh, just like they're willing to just like give me so much like time and attention and teach me so much and it's just been such an amazing experience and I feel like I'm totally like a part of this barn and it's just it's just been a really really cool experience so for all you horse people I don't know I'm just I'm loving it I'm loving it and uh, I know I've got a lot of people watching me who do a lot of horse stuff and I hope you guys know that like I I'm totally enjoying myself like I I know a lot of people were like a little worried about me getting a horse as a beginner but I know it was the best decision for me I'm really excited about it but anyways as I was touching my hair the whole time because that's what I do <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and he head home go see Brian um, and then I gotta head off to get Ollie soon all right I am headed in to grab Ollie I'm so hungry right now I have like not eaten anything so I'm gonna grab him and get some lunch how was school, bud? Good. Good. Are you ready to go into the horse store with me? Yeah. He's asking, he's like, why are there horse tracks here? It looks cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ollie found the horse at the front of the store. Are you excited? Yeah. Hey, wait, hang on, hang on, yeah. watch. You gotta put your foot here. No, no, your other foot. Now put this foot here. Yeah, there you go. And then use that so you can push yourself up. <gasps> Oh my god, you just got on a horse <laughs> by yourself. I'm so proud of you. Look at that. He's all saddled and ready. I'm gonna give, him, give you some money. Yeah. I actually had a feeling he'd want to go on it, and I really wanted him to go on it too because it's so cute. I always see it when I come in here, and he's never been on it, huh? Attention, parents. Please do not leave your child unattended while riding the ride. Okay, if hold on. Ride, hold on to the reins. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what are you getting nacho, Ollie? Getting him some treats? He's a gingerbread cheese. Oh, treat. those look delicious, actually. They're like little muffins. They got all kinds of yummy stuff in them, so we are gonna get him that. And then we got him a new curry comb. I do not like the one I got. And then just like a different one, some shampoo and conditioner, uh, one of those, some more of these treats. These are a little bit more basic. And we just got a few more things to grab. Missy just got done making the most delicious looking dinner. Thanks, babe. You're the best. Sorry about your horse, by the way. She's really bummed. <laughs> 
If she hasn't showed it, she is really bummed. <laughs> I actually, when I was at the store, I spent the most of the time talking to this lady who has no, had a lot of horses that are prone to absence. Oh, yeah. And I'm like so <laughs> stressed. Please, if you have any advice, leave it down in the comments and you know how to draw this thing out without splitting its hoof, apparently. What? Yes. This poor horse. All right, dinner is done, and we all ate so good, huh? <laughs> now like we're playing. With this part. I know. So I'm a yell, and I'm a yell with salt. Yes. Zerg, that's so cool, huh? He loves his zerg. Finn loves his pork. I didn't know we were such uh, Star Wars people, but apparently we are. We are very big Star Wars. I mean, that's not Star Wars, but. <laughs> But anyways, I am really hoping my horse gets better really soon. I'm so nervous about it. Hopefully it all is all good. I got a bunch of really cool stuff, so hopefully it gets better. But anyways. That's such a bummer you can't even ride him. I know, can't ride him. Really can't even really be lunging him. Aww. Can't really walk him. He can play in the pasture. And you can, and you like, can give him treats. Yeah. Be and a good I, time for him to fatten up. <laughs> yeah, if anything, I can bond with him in other hey, ways, like soul. just hanging Whoa. out with him and brushing him and stuff. But I think it'll be okay. Hopefully, crossing my fingers. I'm probably gonna ferry her out there really soon. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and end today's video. It's almost time for bed. Can you say give this video a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, Luna Karma, you guys can do a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, you the pop up. Oh my goodness. Pop. Pop. Give us a pop. There you go. All right. We will see you guys tomorrow. What do you say?